Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius and this is just a little weekend check-in for the 17th and 18th of June, okay? I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using the classic tarot. So Sagittarius, let's see what messages we have. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The Page of Wands, seem pretty happy. The Knight of Swords, waiting for a message. The Page of Cups, hmm. your intuition. Or are you being creative? The Two of Cups, unified love. The Seven of Wands, you are above your challenges. The Three of Wands, waiting for something, planning, making progress. The Ace of Swords, clarity, wisdom. The Four of Wands, you're gonna be relaxing soon relaxing and happy and the nine of pentacles you're gonna see a little bit of money incoming so let's see page of wands Got the star card, keep the hope, stay calm, keep the faith. The eight of pentacles, you're working very hard. And the tower, you had sudden change in your environment. Something caused some chaos and confusion. This is over your, the page of wands. The star, the Eight of Pentacles and the Tower. Could be that you had a sudden insight, but it does feel like things are crumbling around you. You have the mindset of lack. You might have lost some money, you might lack faith, you're worrying, you feel defeated. But this is just temporary. This is here. This is the mindset of lack. Okay? It's temporary. You got the world card. So you will successfully achieve something. Something will come to completion for you. 
And then you got the four of pentacles. Now this could be you holding on to money, maybe say learning, maybe saving some money. Um, not spending wildly. Things might be a little tight right now. But remember, nothing is, um, nothing stays the same. Things change. You just got to believe that it does. The Page of Cups, you need to start using your intuition and your creativity. The one that was given to you from your birth. You got the King of Cups. Now, this could be you feeling emotionally balanced. Or this could be an energy in your environment. A Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And the Three of Cups, celebration. There's some kind of celebration going on or just happened. And it might have been with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be a Virgo... A Taurus or a Capricorn. And this love might be a unified love. <laughs> but with this love comes some extra responsibility. And it might feel a little bur burdensome. Like a little burden. Extra responsibility. You're working very hard where this love is concerned. Is it balanced? It's a lot of stress. You got the ten of ten of wands there. Then you got the page of swords. You got some new ideas, but you feel a little restless. You're gonna be receiving some news too, okay? And then the seven of pentacles. I'm sorry, the seven of swords. It's like you're looking back. Look, keep looking over your shoulder, like it's like it's not. Like you're expecting something bad to happen, you know? You're expecting someone to be dishonest. Stop doing that to yourself, okay? Or maybe this is a warning for you to be aware of your surroundings and who you have around you. Then you have the Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands is you being above your challenges and standing up for what you believe in. Okay, and I got the Ace of Wands there. You got a new project coming. You're going to have new inspiration now also too. This could mean fertility, okay? So this might be the time where you're pretty fertile. And you might have the urge to create something with a lover. Or you just might have a new project and new inspiration due to all the love that you have in your environment. And the Six of Wands, you will be successful in whatever you put your mind to. So then we got the Three of Wands here. Let's see, Three of Wands. On top of the Three of Wands comes the Two of Cups, which is um, unified love. That was the Two of Cups over here too. And then there's the Queen of Swords. This is the air energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, this person communicates pretty directly, or maybe you were thinking about communicating to someone pretty directly. Because this unified love here is giving you a lot of extra responsibility. And you might have a regular job too, you know? I don't know. It's however you see it. However it feels for you. But right now you're at a pause. You got the hangman. So that's the two of cups and the queen of swords. You might be thinking to communicate with them and just see, you know, maybe if y'all can compromise or balance or some things. And right now there's a pause. There's some decision that might need to be made. You might need to change your perspective. Look at things differently. But you're going to have mental clarity. I have the Ace of Swords here. And on top of that, I got the Knight of Cups. There's someone who's going to be bringing, somebody might be bringing you some romantic gift. A Knight in Shining Armor. I got the Knight of Cups. And then I got the Three of Pentacles. And then I got the Nine of Swords. 
So there's something being built in the universe for you, some kind of teamwork, collaboration or something. Um, but this thing is going to give you some anxiety. Um, you got a lot of anxiety and you need to get out of your head. Okay. You really do need to get out of your head. Um, I got the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. You need to get out of your head. You're too much in your head. You're way too much in your head. And the Four of Wands. Might be relaxing soon, happiness. But what is worrying you? Why can't you sleep at night? Why do you feel hopeless? You got the hermit here. You need to go within and do some soul searching and some healing. And then you got the seven. You got the seven of cups. You're going to have some opportunities coming. You're searching for your purpose. Then you got the five of wands. Now with these opportunities, you might have a little conflict, conflict within yourself. Well, what should I do? You know, which, which door should I go through? Because you're going to have a lot of choices. And it's up to you, whatever you choose, because we have free will. And whichever one you choose, although it's going to cause conflict, it might bring you out of the financial, the little financial tightness that you're experiencing. Because I got the Nine of Pentacles here, and this is you reaping your rewards. I got the Moon, the Justice card, and the Three of Swords. So there is going to be some kind of conflict. Don't let your imaginings get the best of you, okay? I got the Moon. There's a lot of fear and anxiety around you. You need to, you need to learn to release it. You need to go within yourself. You need to learn to meditate. You need to quiet your mind. However, I got the Justice card also. So, there's something. Then I got the Three of Swords. What this is telling me in the way I feel here is that the Justice card signifies unified love, love and partnership, a mutual attraction. There might be a proposal in marriage, but along with that proposal, there might be some um, heartbreak. Or maybe you're expecting a proposal in marriage and it's not going to come. It might cause you some heartbreak. So we got the moon, the justice card, and the three of swords. And then we got the page of pentacles. And we got the devil. So you're very, you're really good right now at this point in your life. This moment here. At good at manifesting things. However, you got something that's hanging over you. Okay? And that's the page of pentacles. This You can manifest what you need, but you got this hanging over you. That's the devil. You need to... You got some unhealthy attachments. You need to look at yourself. Do some self-evaluation. There's nothing wrong with that. Do some soul searching. Find yourself. It's not... <laughs> I don't want to say it's not difficult. You have to want it. You have to be willing to see yourself. And to figure out if things are up and down in my life like this, why is it happening? What do I need to do? Ask yourself. You will find the answers. Okay? And after the devil comes the hierophant. Somebody wants to lay the law down to you. But you're still aspiring to be the best person that you can be. The best version of yourself. So you keep going. You will face the shadow self. Okay? It's not going to be easy. But you will feel rebirth, rebirth and rejuvenation. Okay, but you got to face that path, that past. That's the Hierophant and then was the Judgment card. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye-bye.